Stop the presses, gang. Got a special announcement. The Middle Class Famous Tour is in full effect. Get your tickies. Me, the bald one, the long hair. We're coming to a city near you. Mm -hmm. Bring the squad out. It's a great way to introduce people to the show. You get to see some stand-up. You get to play a little AYG with me and the Gipperino. It's a good time. Hit me up. Yeah, guys. We're going to be in Atlanta, Tampa, Orlando, Pittsburgh, Buffalo, Detroit, Denver, Phoenix, Salt Lake City, Chicago, Roseman. Guys, it's a great time. Can't wait to see you out there. Get your tickies now. Yeah. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there. And welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? There is. It's a little show we sit down with your favorite comedians and we find out they grow up to be classy mm-hmm. or they're just a big old piece of trash. Yeah. I'm your host, Stage Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're down here at Tootie's basement. She has caught in wind oh God. of the $10,000 bet that okay. we're laying okay. when we, we reach... Uh, a Patreon goal. 3600 3600 Does she want to wet her beak or get in on the action? What is it? She thinks that she can make it a sure thing. <laughs> okay. Her, yeah. yeah just- she was upstairs watching Ocean's Eleven. <laughs> I said, honey, don't get any ideas. <laughs> My co-host is coming at you from across the table. Uh-huh. It's a family. Yeah, it's a business meeting, God damn it. We're sitting down. We're clearing the house. Sure. Circling the wagons. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage? He is an international businessman. We're almost kind of wearing the same thing. We're syncing up. I mean, no comment. Save it for hard feelings. You want them. We got them. Kevin James Ryan, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, gang. Happy to be here. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, view, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. And as you know, those numbers are true to roof. True the fucking roof. Daddy O. Also, by law, federal, this, statute. This is the one I like. You, <laughs> YouTube's cute, but this is really more my speed. Statute 13B, paragraph 4 of the federal docket. Section 9. I must mention oh. the greatest website of all time, www.patreon.com. Are you garbage? <laughs> A lot of money. I believe it's section 12. All bozos here at said 4. <laughs> and um. how- Okay. No, I'm sorry. No, please. No. Uh oh. No. Uh oh. The special. The <laughs> dates. I don't know. What are we gonna? What, what? I was gonna tell them what they get at the greatest website of all time, like I do every fucking episode. You're talking about the billions and billions of hours of bonus material. I think, over a, there? I think we just hit a trillion hours of bonus hours. Really? Yeah. A trillion. Damn. No. Pretty good. We're like Voyager out there, yeah. fucking putting miles. Mm-hmm. It's nice. Plus, they get them hard feelings. Uh, yeah, that's that's the real show. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this is the dog and pony show. That's where the panties come off. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's where the rubber hits the road, as they say. How about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, which I was trying to say before, and I apologize, I cut you off, Mister Ryan, especially this at this late hour of the month. <laughs> and certain transfers are processing. But how about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the magic man, makes us all look good. He's our little kid brother over there. Look at him, little Skippy. Give it up for Tebow McMuffin, Toby McMullen. What's up, dude? What up, Tebow? I don't want to be Skippy. That's too close to Skippy. I did just true. I did just realize how. Well, there we go again. More assimilation. I mean, we're all going to be the same person in a year. We're all going to be, we're all going to meet in the middle of weight. We're all going to be like 285 pounds or something. We're all going to be in even three bills. We're all going to have medium hair, <laughs> balding in the front. Walking around like the Ramones. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a bad look. We all got to play the part. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> got to wear it everywhere. Yeah. Holy cow! But I do, I do forget sometimes your youth. I'm not that. I'm not young. I mean, compared to him, compared to me, yeah. What do you mean you're a kid compared to me? You're a young kid with all, with his whole life in front of him. Some oh. of it behind him. <laughs> well, you see a 32 year old man with a skateboard. Now I'm a child. What yeah. are you talking about? 32. 32 is young, man. Not that young. What you're like 38. Yeah, 36? Let's, let's go talk to some chicks and see what they have to say about it. Yeah, 32. Uh, th- to, to me, you're a baby. I started comedy when I was 30, though. That's how young that is to me. God, you were going to inspire so many bozo comedians uh, to yeah. hang in for way too long. <laughs> that fat guy from AYG did it. 
You're like the new Rodney Dangerfield. He was selling vinyl siding up until he was 58 years old. Then he died of a drug overdose. I heard Wearing he used- a Hawaiian shirt. What do you know about that? I heard he used to be a jockey. What? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. I wanted to ask you I'm before listening. we get started today. Sure. Um, I did this the other night to the to the appalledness, chagrin, the, chagrin of my of my female counterpart over there. Uh-huh. Um, my mirror, as they call it. If we were if we were on different, uh, she's si- not ha- she's not happy about that. I'm sure. <laughs> if we were if we were on different sides of the Cold War, that's what we'd be. She'd be my mirror. She was a Russian spy, which she could be. I don't know. Um, <laughs> Deep cover. <laughs> she could be embedded. We want you to start at the bottom. She could be a real. <laughs> hey, listen. There's this fat comedian over there in New York who might be successful in ten years. Start working on him. They, they want me to start. DC, LA. Hey, thinking about Queens, <laughs> Bluebell, Pennsylvania. <laughs> that's where the that's where the real fucking incel. Lives. Whatever. Um, which I can't believe she's never seen me do it before oh. in the years that we've been together. Um, because I know I do it all the time. Because when I learned it as a kid, I thought it was one of the most genius things that I've ever seen. It was a, I think a cousin showed me. Okay, and this move is. When you you fill your bowl up with cereal, okay? I'm listening. All right? Been there. And they were Special K, by the way, before you start freaking out. It's a bowl Special K. It's Trader Joe's Special K, so it's even better for you. Um, you fill the bowl, and then when you go to pour the milk, you take your hand and you lightly put it over the cereal bowl to hold the cereal down so it doesn't rise as you pour the milk in. Hmm. You don't know what I'm talking about? I do. I've never done it. I've never thought to do it. Really? Yeah. I mean, you're you're really trying to get every bang for your buck in that bowl. <laughs> like a lot, I like a nice amount of milk. Yeah, that's like a pressure cooker. You're pressure cooking Special K, bootleg Special K at that. Not even name brand. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Kellogg didn't sign off on that. Toby? Yeah, that's. I get you, you get what I'm saying, right? You hold it down so the milk can fill up and get all the get all the flakes wet. So it doesn't and then one no making me wet. <laughs> Just turn to the on second. Uh, <laughs> That's what you like, a huh? Cereal fetish. <laughs> Tell me about the corn pops. Uh I get it. I I see where you're saying. Yeah, I, I mean I've definitely played defense on the rim here and there if you know, but I've never like tried to trash compact it down. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Yeah, I don't have a cereal. I don't have a paperweight in my fucking Oreo. <laughs> Just go back and redo it. To, you know, fill it up, mush it. I, I also like some of the rough ones at the top. You know what I mean? Really rip the top of your Ooh, mouth you're open. A psycho. <laughs> it's like chewing firecrackers. They got to have a little coat on them. A little sprinkle. Yeah, you fucking. Uh, that's. Dry cereal. I mean, how many, bowls, how many bowls did you do as well? How many bowls of that special K mm-hmm. on that particular night? Which night exactly are you talking about, by the way? <laughs> I think it's a great question. I want to thank you for asking. I was home all night. <laughs> um, I don't know. Two. Probably two. I do two. I, probably. Listen, listen I do. I, uh, you know what? Fuck it. I do two. Okay, I do two. Am I supposed to believe that? Two? Am More I than so- two? We have those. Listen. We I- have those fancy deep bowls they have now. You know what I'm talking about. They're like. The uh, vase. <laughs> 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 Someone call it a crock pot. Um, yeah, I just listen. We go back a long time. Nobody right? hold does. On, hold on, hold you on. You do too. Come on, everybody does. Nobody does one bowl of cereal well, I, as look, an adult. Listen, I'm not claiming that you did one. I'm also not claiming that you did two. <laughs> you don't I think you're. I think you're more of a hat trick kind of guy. <laughs> because listen, I know you a long time, right? We go back. Sure, old pals. Been in the you know been in the fucking trenches together, cut our teeth, mm-hmm. right? Better hairlines, thinner waistlines. Back in the day, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Built like a fucking Ukrainian gymnast, <laughs> you know. I used to be tight. I was there. You are. I I, I don't want to sound, but you're a liar. You're you're a big lion <laughs> sack of shit over there. There has been times in the past where I may have embellished the 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 the, the truth. Sure. You know, for the country. For the, yeah, for, for national right. security, of yeah. course. Yeah, I mean, we, I mean, you got all, that spy girlfriend. At the end now. of the day, it's all for charity. Yeah. So let's not get, let's not pointing fingers here. It's for the kids. What are we doing? <laughs> yeah, no, <come> on. <laughs> Cereal's for the kids. I will say, this is how as seen on TV products get made. We could be the first guys to get in the cereal weight game. <laughs> yeah, like what? I mean, what? 
Yeah. Uh, will there, you be honest? To... And was it two bowls of cereal? Well, that's got, first of all, that's not what we're talking about. All right? It is. It's a, sub, it's a subcategory of what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I don't like this. It, this see, well, this, listen. This it's... is why people who commit small crimes don't go in and report big crimes because they get some, some stiff like you. Now you're asking me where I was last night. Doesn't matter how many bowls of cereal, dickhead. All right, the question on it the does. table. No, it does. Yes, that's The trash. question on the table is do you push no. down your cereal <laughs> no. when you fill up the milk? No, that's true. And trashy. am I crazy because you two don't do it? Every, people out there have to know. He's it. unraveling. That. People, people out there have to do it. I'm sure people do. A lot of animals listen to this show. Uh, a refined. No. Uh, Toby, you don't do it either? That is so gross. Yeah. You're getting your, your hand. hand. Your hand specifically is gross. Because you're going to get milk on it, and then you specifically are for sure going to lick the milk off your hand. No, nah, I don't lick milk off my hand. Ice cream, yeah. Milk goes right on the pants. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's cereal shouldn't be touched by your hands ever. <laughs> Except maybe if you're combing it out, you know, combing it out of the box. You get a little, you know, a little tussle on top of the head. That's it. When the supply chain fucks up. Yeah, when you gotta get, get in there with when, yeah. when you gotta get in there with a digger, you know yeah. what I mean? A little excavation. How about when you go and some moron has opened the cereal and it's all fucked up? I hate that. What do you mean? Like when the bag's uh, ripped from I mean, the side. Yeah. I swear to God, my one friend growing up, his mom, I don't know why, would, uh, I think it was because they used to open the, the, they would open the cereal like animals when they were kids. So the mom started, when she bought cereal, and she bought a lot of cereal, they were one of the families that had like nine different cereals on top of the Mm -hmm. fridge. They were all like a quarter of the way full. But she would take the bag out completely. She would dump the cereal in the cardboard. What? That's how she would do it. That's dude, not sanitary. Dude, I bit into a fucking a bowl of tricks one time that had to be three years old. That's they, they, crazy. They were, they were like Jolly Ranchers. I almost cracked all my teeth. Fuck. Stale as shit. That. Yeah. You know what my, I believe my sister does it. I don't want to throw her under the bus, but she empties out the box into like the Tupperware, into like the, that's classy. the Rubbermaid spouts. Yeah. That's like something some, you saw in Family Ties when I was a Yeah, kid. that was very like sitcom pantry. Yeah, that's the that's the that's the, pit, that's the pitcher of orange juice. Pitcher of milk too. Who the fuck does I that? Mean, what are we doing? You gotta throw the milk out after that. We gonna pour it back in. You know what I've been getting into, and this isn't a sponsored post, but I've been recently getting into the past week and a half? That Trop fifty. <laughs> <laughs> you, do you dabble with that at all? For seniors, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking helps with the osteoporosis. <laughs> Keeps you regular, too. I had a couple of snack oil cookies, and I'm fucking clean living. Yeah, that trough 50 ain't nothing to shake a stick what's the, at. What's the pitch? What's the, what's the 50%, angle? I think it's just like orange juice and fucking, you know. And, Water. And, yeah, it's like orange juice and tonic or something. <laughs> this guy's drinking Tom Collins mix in the morning. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? That stuff's all right. <laughs> Trop 50, shout it out from the rooftops. Uh, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> you don't buy it's fifty percent less sugar. It's got some bubbles in it too. There's something's going on. A little osmosis going, a little going too down. much sun. <laughs> nah, I, I think the oranges are from Delaware or yeah. something. Yeah, I don't fuck with that. It's definitely not the sunshine state. I like a nice orange juice too. I was at my mom's house this weekend and I thought I was like it dreaming. Because I because I remember it, it, Orange it, juice <laughs> as far as the eye can see. I must be having a fever dream. <laughs> no, because it said some pulp. Yeah. Uh, I thought that was just from The Sopranos. I didn't no, know that was an pulp, actual thing. No pulp, some pulp. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Some pulp. Little bit of pulp, tiny uh-huh. more bit of pulp. Yeah. That's too much. Too many pulps. You know, I was a real cunt as a kid. I'm still a real cunt now, but I was a real cunty little kid. You probably didn't. I bet you didn't like the pulp. I did didn't. You? And that was before. I love it. I, I would do all pulp. You like your you like your milk with pulp. That's an orange, you idiot. <laughs> Why don't you try a piece of fruit? <laughs> uh, I used to have my mom strain out the what? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I've mentioned this before. We had like a little strainer, and I would make her strain it. I was a real cunty little kid. Uh, I would have pulled a six. I was a real out. little. I I was super fucking picky. And then she just would be like, I remember Sly, she would, she like, it was like an episode of Cheers. She slid it down to me. 
with pulpit. I said it right back. I said, hey, don't de pulpified us, will you? Hey, honey, was it your first day? <laughs> I'm not sure Cheryl filled you in. But... Where's the other girl who usually takes care of me? <laughs> you on vacation or something? What's happening? Dude, you oh, that man. That go waffles. If you did that to Patty as a kid, she would she would have kept you sick. She would have she would have pulled a six cents on you. Uh, a little bit of pine saw on every oatmeal you had. <laughs> Munchausen syndrome. Yeah. Um, You'd be up there forever. I didn't have. <laughs> She'd bleed you. I mean, also, I looking back, I insane, insane that she did it. But I think she was just I that's mean, crazy. Single mom. I was the youngest. I think she was just like fucking whatever. Like we just here, just shut this kid up. Fucking strain my orange juice. Mm-hmm. Real tough guy. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Real hard case your generation. Yeah, right? now I can't get enough of this stuff. I do some Love pulp. the pulp. Some pulp. Love the pulp. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess I'm an asshole with the cereal. I don't know. Uh, we'll see what the bozos and the homies say. I get it. I get it. I just don't think you shouldn't be touching. That's like putting your hand in a bowl of soup. You shouldn't be doing that. It's not. It's not. I mean, that's ridiculous. I'm. I'm just lightly putting. My hands are clean. I just no. They're them. not. Your hands are never clean. Your hands statistically. Your specific hands. I wa- before I. Do I've this, seen you with boogers. I washed them with iodine before I do this. <laughs> there is icing in every bowl of cereal you eat. I've icing. seen more boogers on your fingers than I've seen in my nose. You are you're a big bug man. I get stuffed up sometimes. I'm going to the boogers, the boogers. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'd be your mob name, Henry Boogers. So I went over to Boog's house. I'm going to go with the boogers, the boogers. I heard Booger killed him. <laughs> All right. Okay, I just have one quick question. Go ahead, T-Bone. Isn't that you're going to... That much milk over the surface area of all that cereal, you're going to get soggy cereal way faster. Why not? And why not just stir it once the, the milk's in? This is what I'm saying. Yeah. What are you talking about? There's too much. Here's what it really is. All right. You're good kids. I'll tell you the real story. Okay. I don't like your fucking attitude. All right. <laughs> but what it is, is I like a big bowl of cereal. I can't do the little rinky dinky bowl. So I try to get as many tricks in there as I possibly can. Sure. Or. Uh, special K, whatever mm-hmm. you have it. Um, uh, and when you pour the milk in, it all falls out like popcorn. So you take your hand and you hold it down. I mean, down. that's like if you cannonball the milk in there. If you fucking slowly I steep pour it, it in no, there. No, no, I, you pour it nice. It's to get the milk on this flake. Yeah, but I'm pop. saying if you pour it, you fucking, you can, you, you stir, you scoop, you do it. It doesn't stir. Suck. How big are you, what are you talking about? There's no room to stir in a cereal bowl. I'm not saying stir it like you're fucking the Wicked Witch of the Astoria. How big fucking, are your cereal bowl? What are you using? I don't old, eat, old TV I tubes? don't eat cereal, typically. You got a box in the house. I never do. There's not a box of cereal in your house right now. There's not. If you don't have a box of cereal in your house, you're a psychopath. Uh, Toby, you? Yeah. What do you have? I have uh, like honey bunches of oats. I think well, that's respectable. No, it's not. What? What? You're doing cereal? You're not going. You, what? Honey bunch? What are you? My grandfather? Honey bunches of oats are all right. Get out of here. You know it's not too shabby either. Every once in a while, grape nuts. Uh, you're gonna think I'm crazy. <laughs> grape nuts with some milk and a little bit of sugar. You probably like Woo! raisin bran too. Oh yeah. What? Two scoops, bitch. No. Two scoops. <laughs> I've never heard someone <laughs> brag like a rapper about the scoops in their cereal. That's two scoops, motherfucker. And I tell you what, Kellogg's, they coat them motherfuckers in sugar, too. They don't fuck around. Fucking Kellogg's Raisin Bran, let's go. I can't do the, I can't do the cereal at the house because I fucking have a problem. Oh, uh, no, I try I'm to, not I saying mean, that. We keep it that like, box of cereal was taken away from me that night and hidden after my third bowl. I see, ah! I knew it, yeah. <laughs> Fucking two bowl. Get out of here. Two bowl. I'm a three bowl man. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. Relationships take work. We all know that. Mm -hmm. A lot of people will drop anything to help somebody that they care about. But how often do you do that with yourself? This month, BetterHelp wants to remind everybody the most important relationship you have in your life is with yourself. Whether you're hitting the gym, you're getting a new haircut that you wanted, doing something to make yourself feel better. 
You are your greatest asset, and you got to make sure that you take care of yourself the way you would for other people. Yeah, guys, BetterHelp is online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy, and can you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Give it a try and see why over 2 million people have used BetterHelp online therapy. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, and all you garbage listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash garbage. That's BetterHelp, B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash garbage. Do it. Yeah. Kip, let's talk about HelloFresh. Hello, Fresh. Come on. You know them. You love them. Everybody loves HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh, pre-portioned ingredients, seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip the trips to the grocery store. Count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy. Saves time. Saves money. Saves lifestyle. It's worth it. Plus, everything's pre-portioned, and we love the recipes. They got a Cajun shrimp that'll blow your hair back, baby. I ain't lying. Yeah, uh, HelloFresh has fit and wholesome recipes for satisfying and nutritious meals that you can feel good about with six recipes per week to choose from, including low-calorie and carb-conscious options. Warm yourself up from the inside with our limited-time recipes, including cozy, cozy classics from around the world, like beef tenderloin and cheese fondue. Oh, Ooh, my God. Oh, Patty's or, on them, by the way. <laughs> or miso sesame shrimp and bacon ramen. Sign me up, Patty. What are we doing? It. Those HelloFresh guys really know what they're doing over there. They sent it to us. I mean, they, they it's easy peasy. You're in the it's kitchen. Fantastic. It's me and me and the lady. We're in there. It's romantic. We're having fun. It, it, it's fantastic. So go to HelloFresh.com slash garbage16. Use code garbage16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. I'm going to repeat that one more time, baby. Go to HelloFresh.com slash garbage16. Use promo code garbage16 for up to 16 meals and three free gifts. Do it. Yeah. Um, all right, let's get into some fucking garbage questions from the Patreon over there. Guys, when you sign up for Patreon, we will answer your garbage question on the air. Best way to do it. We get hit up a bunch, the emails, the DMs, everything, but the uh, the Patreons get top priority over there. A Patreon's a party, you know what I mean? It's a good time, I'm telling you. Uh, this one's just a fucking, what we call in a business, a home run. This is from Ren. Did you take swim lessons beyond a reasonable age? Because there is a certain age where you can't be like 16 in the pool with a bunch of 12 year or like six year olds, you know, did you take proper swim lessons? Proper, proper swim lessons. They hated me. I hated them. You're eating cereal in a pool. <laughs> <laughs> Hold the milk down, you dumb broad. What are you doing? Uh, the woman threatened to sue us. Or- oh, my God, dude. Yeah, because I would bite her and pinch her. I just remember one day, and I was little. I was terrified of the water. Terrified. You're still not the biggest fan. (laughs) No. Um, But I can swim like the wind. Um, I remember my my mom like. They're opposite elements. Yeah, I can swim like (laughs) a thing that's not known for swimming. I I like a fish. Uh, I remember my mom like holding me and her having a conversation. She's like, it's just Patty. Hit the. It's too much. He typically <laughs> doesn't. But only the mailman. <laughs> chasing, ah, ah. chasing him down the street. Yeah, I fucking, I, I freaked out. Hate, hated it. <clears throat> but I got past it. I wasn't fucking taking swim lessons at like 25. That's a real tough look. But I also do. We know a few bozos that can't swim. <laughs> I know, yeah. Which is, in, that, that's insane to me. And listen, I know you grow up here, you grew up there, you grew up in the city. You don't have ac- access to it. Just my my fear and my anxiety. I would have that would have been the one thing I would have said, Mom. I want to take swim lessons. Mom, I gotta learn how to swim. Mm-hmm. You figure you have to know that. I can't fathom that. Yeah, I don't know. It's not. Uh, it's not. It's crazy. I don't. I can't. I just remember always being able to. So I don't remember any lesson ever. You had to have. I don't think so. Yes, man. I'm, I'm sure your mom took you to fucking Saturday swim lessons. You just don't you remember. You don't know it. about me. Don't tell me. They you're probably short. knocked you out and threw you in the chlorine room. <laughs> <laughs> so my hair's falling out. <laughs> chlorine poisoning at an early age. Hey, lean him up against that shock. He'll be all right. Um, now, I, I, I know kids grow up and they don't have access. I mean, we didn't have a pool. That's a fun. I, I understand, but like, I get you know, it. to play the comedy devil's advocate, fucking New York's an island. It's not like there ain't water around there. I'm telling There's you. There's beaches. I'm telling you. 
I'm fucking telling. Rockaway Beach, fucking Coney Island. They're all they're all resort beaches. Go down there, learn how to swim. Watch out for the needles, but you'll still have a good time. I think Rockaway takes a couple people every year too. That sure. coast's a little stingy up there. Mm-hmm. Currents going this way and that uh, way. I don't know. But what my cousins did is that, and you'll see it on like TikTok and stuff. A baby is naturally known how to get on its back or whatever. Yeah, I seen that bullshit. They did it with my all my cut co- with all their kids. The what, big guy did. And what, do they immediately know how to swim? Yeah, there's this thing where they innately... No, I'm saying then you don't need swim lessons because they'll like instinctively know. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, it's like this. Uh, you hold them in the wall. I don't know if Toby could look it up. No, I'm saying years later when they start to actually swim, they still get swim lessons. I know the human body is naturally buoyant. I get that. Uh, okay, I don't know what we're arguing over here. I don't know why I'm telling you what my cousins did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anymore. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm just saying that it's that because they had a pool and they had young kids, like babies ish or, you know, toddlers. Sure. So it's like a survival thing where they throw you in the fucking pool and just kind of, you'll think like, nice. You don't know and like you'll fucking just. Fucking SEAL Team 6 training. Over uh, there. It is. You know what I mean? And you like, <clears throat> you got to like, you inherently roll over on your back. Right. And then just start like kicking or whatever. I don't know. I was never a big backstroke guy, more of a freestyle. Yeah, I would have sank right to the bottom on that. But I have seen that. He's right. But they still need lessons after that. Yeah, like he throws them in. All of a sudden, they're doing flips like dolphins and shit. Well, I mean, that's is that what they taught you in lessons? Flips like dolphins, dude. You stand on my do a hand, that's pretty sure. good handstand. Sure, not a bad can opener. Handstand in a pool is a good time. I was just doing them down in Florida. <laughs> what? That's oh an, yeah. That's, Oh. What? You're not doing a handstand in a pool? That's crazy. Not now. That was a Marco Polo action down there, too. It's pretty good. I was having a great time with the kids in the pool. Uh, I was, I was, oh, the kids. All right. I thought you were doing it. If I was at a fucking hotel pool and there was some guy by well, himself I'm... fucking in three feet of water and all of a sudden his legs slowly came up, I'd call little hotel Peter's, security. Little Peter sticking out. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Uh, no, yeah. obviously the kids are in the pool. And I can't do a handstand in three feet of water. That's not sure. enough water. Four feet, whatever. Yeah. Handstands are a good time, yeah. though. Ten feet for me. It's real easy. What do you, you got, find? T-Bone? All right. So babies aren't born with the ability to swim, obviously. Sure. But they have a reflex called the Brady cardiac response, which makes babies hold their breath and open their eyes when submerged in water. And they kind of they kind of naturally have a reflex that makes it look like they can swim. Yeah. But they do know to hold their breath and open their eyes. Yeah, it's weird. That's like the Nirvana kid. Yeah, he's making that face. Toby, zoom in. <laughs> Everybody constantly says, I love how he never zooms in. It's a big gag. Love it. Good stuff. Uh, yeah, but I, I'll, ask the, I'll ask the piece, but I don't think I, I, I genuinely don't think I. You had to have. I don't think so, man. Did, did we ever on the swim team? That wasn't, it? no. That, and also, like, my brother and sister did, but that wasn't something we paid for. That was like. Well, I'll teach you how to swim. Down at the river. Yeah, that wasn't like, we weren't a pay-for-services kind of family. They kick in in your jeans. <laughs> you going to learn today, boy. I'll pick you across the street from the trade tracks. <laughs> they put a Sunny D and a PB&J at the lip of the deep end. They're like, yeah. hey, little fat kid, we'll Give you a compass and a diving knife. <laughs> figure it out. Fucking Johnny Quest over here. Sunny D, that was, that was our move back in the day. Trop 50. I'm telling you, maybe you should try Trop 50. It's less cow, less cows, less sugar. Probably got sweetener in it. Is that what you're worried about? Yeah. Okay. That, After your third is- bowl of maximum capacity cereal. <laughs> <laughs> that should be the name. My of- cereal is true to roof. That should be that should be the name of a fat guy cereal. Maximum capacity. <laughs> I mean, what are we talking? About? Yeah, oh, it's probably got sweetener in it. Okay. I drank fucking 19 IPAs last night. Oh, uh, maximum capacity definitely has marshmallows in it. <laughs> Chunks of chocolate and graham crackers. You can have whatever you want. <laughs> maximum capacity uh, from Kellogg's. <laughs> this one's uh, from Michael. First time, long time. I love the abri- FTLT. Uh, you guys ever fell in a fire? <laughs> like at a bonfire. You get high or whatever. You're drunk. You get a whiff of the fucking smoke. It fucking makes you dizzy and you... And you go down. It's surprising that it doesn't burn you that quickly. Like you can, <laughs> yeah. You can actually get somebody out. Yeah. Uh, I and it's haven't. just like a little like fucking ash on their eyes or whatever. I've never witnessed. I've seen, I've seen a buddy get a little woozy. 
You know what I mean? We're like, hey, so you had to get, get hands on him. I saw some kid go right in. <laughs> go right in. We were uh, burning, like, in in our in, in our area, certain people that lived in the older neighborhoods, they were they burned their leaves once they had a decent enough size of property. Sure. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, 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 I love yeah. that smell in the fall. It's not bad. Way. It's the best. That's but, like sometimes you go out and like to poke it like up towards like the more rural. There's just a fire burning. Oh, like every third house, they just got something like a, they got a burn pit. Something cooking. Yeah, it smells good. Um, but somebody threw a computer or somebody on top. Like it was so that was like an area in the backyard where they burn shit. So like we'd go out there sometimes and just start a fire and sure. sit around, drink some beers or whatever. Somebody threw a computer or something on there and it was really cooking. And something was in it, and like a plume of like, like green gas, fucking uh-huh. yeah, went, circuit uh-huh. breaker, or something. <laughs> and it hit him in the face, dude. He went down like the Riddler got him. <laughs> 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 it, was, it was fucking yeah. Just, like what the fuck? <laughs> dude, fucking grab and drag him out. He's of all here. fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> Damn that. Yeah. Tough look. Beer. And fire, alcohol and fire is never a good mix because, you know. Uh, you want to start testing the dragon. Yeah, you start, you know. Start you don't respect it. it. You always got to respect the nah, flame. you got to respect it. You start throwing in a computer, a Christmas tree. Next mm-hmm. thing you know, the neighborhood's on fucking <laughs> yeah. on fire. Yeah, you got leaking toxic gas. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Big time. Yeah. I, we all, I remember we did do a trail one time. We did a trail of gas to the fire. Mm-hmm. That was pretty cool. We did that. But that's I've seen that gone wrong on the used tube thing. Oh, yeah. We did it. We filled up a water bottle full of gas, and the tip got caught. The tip caught on fire. We had a squirt bottle. Like, it had, like, a squirt tip on oh, it. Oh, that's a fucking bomb right there. Yeah, I mean, we pan- We sent, like, the- and then we threw it in the water, and then the gas was just burning on top of the water. Man, talk about fucking little anxiety kippy. I, th- I was, I was, <laughs> I was. Uh, dude, I fucking like I almost ran to the neighbors and been like, "Help us, help us!" The whole like everybody abort, you know. It was a fucking scene, dude. We're all going to die. Yeah, it was like, Jesus yeah, it was tough. Felt like Lassie. middle of, middle of. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, boy? There's a fire at the Red Bridge. Go, go, go. That was when we used to steal a bunch of stuff from the construction sites. Burn they it. were building the houses, you know, fucking lighting caulk on fire, whatever. Christmas tree, just mm-hmm. fucking torch and stuff. Get a can of paint thinner, turpentine. Dude, that shit'll fucking knock you the fuck out. Yeah. Hit some fucking rubber. Burning rubber is fucking tired of plastic. We used to the two liter bottles. Oh. And they would like fucking turn into lava. Dude, that stuff. I got some burns on my hand from like just melting a water bottle or it's something. Like melt, it's like napalm. I know it sticks on there. And it's it's like it's it's like a sticky bomb. Jesus Christ! Yikes! Yeah. Um. All right. Let's see here. This one. All right. This is from Nicholas. Big bathroom question: Is it garbage to pee in a public re- restroom stall with the door open? Yes. I'm a big. I treat the. I treat a public, but specifically like a rest stop. Mm-hmm. Like you go to a rest. I treat that like I'm fucked. Like it's. I don't like touching anything in there. So you'll pee with the door open. Yeah, I don't. Who do? Some of those places are fucking d- dirty. I like my privacy. Okay. Close the door. Like a gentleman. Turn the lights down. <laughs> <laughs> Set a candle for the mood. Light some incense. Yeah. I'm like a big, uh, I don't like touching anything. And a lot of times those urinals, you get a lot of backsplash. And then I just think about all the pee that's splashing on me or whatever. Can I say this? And you're stepping, you can see yourself stepping in someone else's pee. Then I see myself getting in my car and being like, that person's pee is now in my new car. This fucking sucks. Yeah. So you was walk through a little, just. Slightly touch the bottom of your foot on a little puddle every once in a while. Then rub it Wash out it off, grass. yeah. The snow is great for that. Snow's you find great. a patch of snow. Oh, fucking clean. Clean the soles up. Do the white walls real <laughs> nice. What I was going to say is, and I think this is more hygienic. I've kind of sta- strayed away from washing my hands in the bathroom. Oh, never except in a public at, Except at home. I walk, I, you know, at home I do what I mean. If I poop, yeah. I'm not washing my hands if I pee. At your house, really? If I pee? I feel that's something you would judge me for. 
What? But that's your lifestyle, and, and, and you can do whatever you're you want. You're telling me. You don't wash your hands. You don't wash your hands after you pee at your house. There's no way you're going to sit here and tell me, as my friend for the past decade, that you. Sometimes I do. I'm so, listen, One time a we're year? We're not talking about me. All I said was I'm surprised that you don't do that. Anyway, Why my original I point, I'm not washing my hands in fucking public restrooms anymore. I'm walking outside and using du- two, two yeah. squirts of Purell. Yeah, for sure. Why are we washing our hands anyway? Because otherwise you're going to get piss in your frosted flakes. Yeah, no, exactly. I'm, I'm saying, shouldn't we do away with the washing of the hands and just use hand sanitizer? No, because that hand sanitizer won't take poop off your fingers. <laughs> I've tried. <laughs> I've been jammed up. It still smells. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to get some water and soap on that. <laughs> some elbow grease. Yeah, for sure. That's not gonna, you know, a little bit of a little bit of Purell ain't gonna take off fucking mud. Um. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you don't wash your hands. I don't even think you wash your hands after you after you do boom booms. I'm always, always. The boom boom scares me. I'm afraid, I'm, I'll, I'll get septus, or what's it called? That's septic. If, that's it. That's if it gets into your bloodstream or something. I want to cut my mouth or something. What? Yeah, I'm worried about getting poop in my mouth, so I wa- I make sure I wash my hands thoroughly after I poop. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's insane. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, when it gets into your blood, Sep- septus. Septus. Septic? Sepsis. It's not. S- Septic. Step sister form. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's bingo. Uh, Septus. God damn. My it. mom always says it. That and rheumatic fever. You're going to get rheumatic fever. Jesus Christ. What are you, a wagon train? What the <laughs> fuck? Sepsis. 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 It's what you get if you jump in the Chicago River. Is really? It? Yeah, if you if you go into the Chicago River, you immediately you get arrested and they put you in an ambulance to take you to the hospital immediately. Damn, there's that much sepsis in the in the water. Yeah, it's nasty. It's gr- it's green all year round. Not just not just on. Ugh. Well, they were dumping all the poop in there. Dumping poop. In I there? I took the boat ride. They told me that. Oh yeah, that's right. Then they reverse the something. Yeah, I don't know. Send that back down to Indiana. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> where it belongs. <laughs> <laughs> <In> third bags. <laughs> Ship that down to those hayseeds. Yeah, huh? we just dump it right in Lake Michigan, folks. So no need to worry about anything. Well, that's what was that? Whatever. Yeah, I don't need to get into the specific details. Chicago coming there. Oh yeah, March or June or something. May, maybe I don't know. Can't wait. May, be there in May, baby. Get your tickets. Also, by the way, uh, get your tickets if you're in any of the cities where we're coming on tour. The link is in the description. Of course, come and see us. There you go. It's a fun time. It's a good time. It's a good time, and as the big man would say, it's a good way to introduce your friends to the pod. Get them yeah. out for a night of stand-up, night yeah. of riffing, night of laughs, the whole nine yards. You know how many times we, I've been, you know, we, we've done the shows, and somebody will walk up and they'll say, you know, I, th- I didn't know nothing about it. I thought you two were fucking losers when I first walked in. <laughs> and I still think it, but you're pretty goddamn funny at that. <laughs> I, see, I saw you, I was like, oh, that's a real fat piece of shit getting up there now. <laughs> I, what were you bringing me to here? I don't know what kind of show this you is. You know your belly's hanging out on stage here. <laughs> I see a guy's little penis the whole goddamn time. I'm trying to enjoy myself. My friend, he says, hey, want to come to a new show? Check out the show. So bring the squad. Yeah. The group chat. Ooh. Send the, send the ticket link to the group chat. Hey, you have I'm, a group chat? Yeah. Yeah. 11 guys in there. It's pretty good. A couple that are quiet. I, about four or five of them are quiet. <laughs> Yeah, I mean the things that are in there will you know get you locked up for a long time. I uh, it's one of the first times in my life where I haven't been in a group chat. The three of us are in a group chat. Yeah, but that's business. I have one with my family. That's fun. But the kids are in that. Wait, that's fun. What are you guys talking about in the family group chat? Whatever, trashing you mostly. <laughs> <laughs> my niece and nephew. I couple, would be honored. A couple of choice words about. <laughs> <laughs> that bald guy stinks. Why is he so mean to Hank? <laughs> but yeah, I don't have one with my boys anymore, which sucks. Who are your boys? Couple guys. <laughs> I don't know who they are. I've never met these guys. <laughs> yeah, you have. Who? You met some of my squad. I can't name them publicly. They're <laughs> private citizens. Tom Cassidy, my deli guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the dry cleaning guy I'm pretty close with. You want to hear something? I'll tell you what. About progress. 
I haven't been in the pizza place so long, the one next to my house, that they're they trying to wellness check on you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, put a little, put a little sauce under his nose. <laughs> hey, that lord ass ain't been in here. Someone knock on his door. I can't cover rent this month. These pinwheels are backing up. <laughs> <laughs> the beef petty guy starting to ask questions. Kip, let's talk about Babel. Babel, come on, you know it, Le Babel, El Babel. That's right, baby. If you're looking to learn a new language. Babel can help. Hey, Eins, zwei, drei. Look at it this way. You got goals. Yeah. You want to sp- you want to spend uh, less money. You want to save money. You want to hit the gym. You want to do this. You want to do that. A lot of people at the top of their list is learning a new language. Uh-huh. And with Babel, it's never been easier. Yeah. Uh, it's a language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions. 10 mil. 10, 10 milli. That's pretty good. Uh, not only is learning it's triple a, platinum. Not only that's ten plat. What? Not only is learning a new language a fun and engaging new hobby, but you can use it while you ch- well, you can use it while you check traveling off your list. The whole Babel process is addictively fun, easy. Babel teaches bite-sized language lessons for real-world use. I use it to sharpen up my uh, Deutsch. You know, of course, uh, when I'm going French. over there, and you, you pick up just little. I was using other apps. I don't want to mention them. You know what I mean? Because I don't want to get sued by these you know, big language corporations. That's all AI crap. They, they got were, persons. They got they, they got they they got speech therapists doing this. They were telling me how to say like "I'm a little girl" and stuff, <laughs> which came into handy during certain activities. Uh, right this now, when guy's you, singing, <laughs> "I'm a little teapot" at Oktoberfest. <laughs> right now, when you purchase a three month Babel subscription, you'll get an additional three months for free. That's six months for the price of three. What are we doing? They're giving it away. Just go to Babbel.com. Use promo code Garbage. That's Babbel. B A B B E el.com code garbage babble language for life do it yeah. can't be like all form all form i said all form I don't play you. stupid i know you know who i'm talking about they're the same people from helix they got into the furniture business there's a couch sitting right there nice and comfy and cozy best couch i ever sat on everybody loves all form yeah, it's easy peasy. Uh, they sent it to us. It came in. I put it together myself. That's how easy it I is. I was sitting on it two seconds ago. <laughs> T-Bone's on it now. Uh, it's the easiest way you can customize a sofa using premium materials and a fraction of the cost with traditional stores. You get to pick your fabric, uh, the color, the sofa, the size, the shape, the legs, the whole nine yards. Whatever you want, you get it uh, custom designed for you. And if getting a sofa without trying it in a store sounds a little risky, you don't need to worry. You get 100 days to decide if you want to keep it. That's a, that's more than three months. And if you don't love it, they'll pick it up for free and give you a full refund. Look at that. That's insanity. Good people at All Forum. Uh, all Forum wants, you, wants to do their part and offers exclusive discounts for teachers, students, military, and first responders. What? What are we doing? All Forum USA, baby. Way to go, All Forum. Uh, all Forum also offers financing, flexible payment plans, so an amazing sofa is never too far away. And they offer also a forever warranty, literally forever. To find your perfect sofa, check out allform.com slash garbage. Allform is offering 20% off all orders for our listeners at allform.com slash garbage. Do it. Now back to the show. Yeah. Um, What'd they say? uh, I saw him the other night when he was leaving. I was coming in, and and it was for parking. He was getting into his car. And so I was walking by the other night, and he's like, uh, like, hey, man, he's like, if you're ever... uh, you Did know, you move or something, dude? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, if you ever need a spot around this time, call, call the shop. I'm usually leaving. Oh, that's how they get you back. Trying to get me back in. You're calling. Hey, why well, I got you on the line here? We're yeah. doing a we're doing a family special. It's like in casino when they told him the plane didn't work. Trying to keep get, trying to get me back in there. Mm-hmm. Fucking work there, magic. Yeah, and it worked. I had nine slices yesterday. What are you gonna do? All nine. I mentioned nine different individual <laughs> slices. <laughs> Um. All right. Let's see here. There with the guy. This was big. This is um. This is from Dean Haygang. New here. Ever picked up and shaken a littered pack of smokes on the ground to see if they're if they're actually empty? Definitely as a kid. Sure. As a younger younger strapping buck. And then the big thing. Even now. Uh, is like if I'm in the car and I don't have my cigs or I have them in my I have like. There's a lot of empty packs floating around. Yeah. So it's like, 
You grab them, you shake them. I'm digging through the fucking glove box. It's just full of parking tickets and empty marb lights. It's fucking. And then when you don't find one, you get really fucking mad. You get bummed out. But when you really need one every Woo! once in a while, the Lord shines down upon you. With a, you you open up a pack, there's like six in there. Uh, Woo! Oh, baby. oh, what do you know? What do you say, <laughs> huh? <laughs> That's a good feeling, dude. Uh-huh. Yeah, did you ever find I found a full pack somewhere? I had had them in, like, Miss Cal. Something. That's too much. When you find what you need, that's when it really hits you. I know, but the full pack, you're like, it, that changes the day. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, that's tomorrow's problem. This will this will give me my fix to the Start night. playing the stock market after that. <laughs> Everything's coming up, Kippy. Jesus. Very um, nice. All right here. This is from Valerie. Haven't had a question right. Is it garbage to use a spatula to clean the snow off your windshield? That's bad. That ain't good. Mm-mm. What do you use? Because this is my first winter with the car, and I got hammed, I got hemmed up two, two weeks ago or whatever. You had nothing. I had nothing, and I knew I had nothing. Next time you go get the car wash. Are you getting the car wash regularly, by the way? Uh, Yeah. And what's your oil change situation? You keeping an eye on that? Does the car tell you? Is it smart like that? Uh, Yeah, I've gotten it. I, I, I have like probably another 2,000 miles. I don't do that much driving. I'm under 10,000 in the year. Okay. Yeah. Coming good. up on a year, I'm like a month out, and I'm at like 9,220. No, I got two bad boys in the fucking back of the... Back of I the had them too. in the Tigo. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Mm-hmm. You know, when I was driving the Tigo around, I had them because that's just like a thing. That was part of the trade-in. <laughs> that was most of the value in the car. I know. <laughs> I'll never forget. 200 bucks for that goddamn thing. Give um, you 75. Oh, 120. I didn't know you had the uh, scrapers I, in yeah, there. The Ice Crusher 2000. The little scrapers stunk, too. Those little hand johns. Uh-huh. You got to get one with a fucking pole on it. You know, with like, some thing. It's got to have the brush. Yeah. If, you, if, you, if you're if you getting the fucking just the scraper, you might as well be using a fucking spatula. Spatula's not a bit, not bad, though. That makes sense. E- you're trash for doing it, but... You're, it if depends you're, on the snow, depends how cold it is, and it depends on the structural integrity of said spatula. Yeah. If it's some fucking TJ Maxx fucking dog shit spatula, it's going to bend back. Mm-hmm. Like trying to fucking scoop ice cream out with a tablespoon. Look like a jerk off. Um, I use. I knew I was going to be jammed up. I knew it because I knew I didn't have one in there because it's the first winter with the care. And uh, I took my dustpan and brush and cleaned off the snow with the with my dustpan. And my wife had the pan and I had the brush. <laughs> this guy's out there vacuuming his windshield. <laughs> Got the shop back out. <laughs> Morning, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> Three inches last night. Uh, yeah, I felt I knew I was going to be trash. And now I got the fucking <clears throat> the dustpan still in the car. We don't have it in the house. There's fucking dust everywhere. I remember. Boy, do I remember. I don't know where we were. I'm going to order one today. We, we were somewhere. There was some kind of miscommunication because my parents are usually pretty good with that stuff. They keep all that stuff stocked and loaded and all that crap. Rock salt in the fucking back of the car and all it's that called stuff. called paranoia. I we get were you. growing up. Uh, anyway, must have been transferred to the other car. We took a car coming out of some store. It had snowed. It's fucking freezing cold. My dad's got nothing. Fucking scraping the windshield with his credit card. That my dad did Why that. Why we sat yeah. inside in horror. Mm-hmm. Panic. He was hot that night. Uh huh. Yikes. I used a uh, uh, goddamn fucking e- e- e. CD case works pretty well. And they were always they were always disposable <laughs> in the early aughts. CD case. CD case was great. I don't get Even a CD from time to time, if it was a shitty mix or like an old <laughs> Memphis Bleak album or something, you fucking you sacrifice it for the ride. You know what I mean? And you also, I mean, you didn't get, you didn't go fucking crazy with it. You just did what you had to do and let the defrosters do the heavy lifting. You know what I mean? Which they do a lot, man. You just got to get them started. Yeah. That's the problem with them Teslas now. They don't have an engine. So the snow doesn't fucking melt off the car. Ooh. That's what they're running into. Toby, pull that because there's no engine in the car. It doesn't heat up. Take that, nerd boy. Look at that. So it stays on the car. Like, obviously, there's defrosters on it. But it doesn't. Yeah, wait. I thought they had like things where the, all the snow melts off all the car. What? Yeah, you could hit a button and like it's like like a heated seat, but the whole car. I've been looking over there on that TikTok or whatever, and that's that seems to be an issue. Really? Mm-hmm. Old Chevy, let it warm up. 
Yeah, my Chevy Loom, dude. That thing was a fucking tank. Oof. What are you saying, T-Bone? Not to be Mr. Debunker guy, but I'm just you know what I heard. But uh, in the the Tesla app has an, a snow melting feature. Look at On that. See, he thinks everything, this guy. Yeah. I just uh, watched it. Uh, yeah. Wow. Oh, cut this. Man. <laughs> look at you. I'm not going to look like a jerk I've been, on the internet. I've been proven wrong like nine times. Anti-electric car disinformation right here. But there had that's have, I watched a guy complaining about it. Fall fake news. Oh, a guy lying on the internet? No shit. <laughs> hey, nice to see you. <laughs> hey, I admit it to the three bowls of cereal. <laughs> so what? Come at me. Fact check my fact checker. Um. All right. This one. This is a good. This is a, this is a good debate. Which I don't. I don't know where I fall on. I think I know where I fall on this. And I'm. Uh, I've been both of these guys. This is from Jay. Uh, what is more garbage? Who is more garbage in the saying, "You fly, I buy"? The guy going to the store or the guy paying? It's got to be the guy going. I think right because he's typically. More broke. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I was a big flyer say, for a long time. Say, say, say the the actual question one more time for me. Who is more garbage in "You fly, I buy"? Okay, the flyer or the buyer? The most garbage is "I'll fly, you buy." That's the trashiest. When the guy who has no money pitch, because I've been that guy. You pitch. I've pitched to somebody with money. Hey, want me to run and get you a pack of smokes? Really? Yeah. Yikes. Working in kitchens and stuff like that. If nobody had Barney's or things were tight. You wait. So you're offering your flying services. Yes. That's bad. I'll That's fly. That's real bad. Buy. That's the worst. Hey, I'm poor. Can I have some of your stuff? That's what you're saying. <laughs> I'll go I get it. I got half a tank of gays. I'll go get it. Wow. No, I'll buy you fly. You're that guy. You're class. You got a couple of fajols on you. Yeah. You're, you're the guy also, that, you're never going to buy and fly Bitcoin. You know what I mean? You're always, it's always no. it's always like Coke, a six pack, <laughs> Bernie's. It's never something classy. Yeah, something tragic. Yeah, yeah. I've been. I'm not been, buying and flying to get fucking healthcare. Run up and grab a round at the bar. Yeah. I'll buy you fly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, stra- that's a good one. It's a good one. It's got to be the flyer. No, and then listen, obviously, it's not even a question. What are you talking about? The guy who's buying, he's. He's got the money, and he has people in servitude. They're working for yeah, him. Yeah, but there is something a little, you know, fucking... Uh, you can say he's lazy. Yeah, I mean, but it's like kind of dismissive a bit, because when you're oh, going... Oh, it's very dismissive. Yeah, which is not a classic. It's guy. very dismissive. It's like, because people would do it to me, be like, hey, run down, and I, I mean, you know... I didn't have a right fucking, away, sir. Yeah, I didn't have a. I didn't have a choice. Hop, hop on the double. You know, you just gotta <laughs> fucking do it. Look alive out there! Okay? I'm, running, I'm, I'm fucking running down with two cases of beer, <laughs> fifteen boxes of pizza. Yeah, it's tough. Tough look. But but the saying as a whole is trashy. Of course. Let's go get. Let's run to the liquor store and get beer. That's what it should be. Let's run and get an eight ball. Okay, where where uh, you should it be saying I buy you fly? That's a that's inherently trash. All right, I'll give you this. Yes. Okay, you're right. Because it's usually the loud cousin or aunt, uncle, or somebody that rolls in that's looking for looking to make a deal. Boy, you got no beers, huh? I tell you what, I'll buy you fly, huh? Yeah. This okay. Good, yeah. Yeah, it's trash. Put it in the book. <laughs> trash. This is another one. This is from Tyler, uh, Florida man here, new Patreon. Just says beer on ice question mark, and he backs it up. Which would I get? You got to think Florida. I think it's sort of nice and classy after a long day of work. It also sort of slows down the beer consumption. Modelo on ice. I don't understand. What do you mean? He pours it over ice? Yeah, ice. Oh, I beer. thought you meant beers on beers on ice is beers in a cooler. Like ice. I thought the guy had a cooler waiting for him when he got out. No, on ice. Yeah. Um. I don't know. I, I, you know, in this fusion age where we're mixing Blended everything. Blended cultures. Yeah. You know, it's, as far as like cuisine, because the reason I say that is because I see a lot of people drink uh, Bloody Marys with beer instead of vodka. Sure. Things like that. The mimosa, the fucking, um, 
the mules now, you know, the, like the Moscow mule. Sure. And all that. It's, it's everything's mixed together. You know, the sangrias and all this stuff. I don't know where you're going with this. <laughs> I'm saying it's very, it, 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 it lends itself to that, that the, the, the trend of fusion these days. It makes because if you put a splash, you're telling me ice in beer is fusion. I'm telling this. It's it, it's dirt bag shit. If is you what it is. if you splash a little lime in it or something like that, and a touch of pineapple, do a clamorita or they, whatever. Yeah, then it's some yeah, shit. But like that's that. different. I'm talking about a fucking <laughs> Coors Light, a Coors, a, a Coors Light on ice. If you have it in a wine glass, I think you're okay. My buddy's that's crazy. My buddy's grandma used to do it. Uh, my mom dot. She would drink cores. She'd have like three cores lights a night, and they were on ice. And we tried it one day because we were all we were in college. We're all like, "What's she doing?" It's crazy. I got to tell you, we had one on a hot summer day. <laughs> it was all right. <laughs> it's like any town USA, baby, watching the tide roll out. You know? Yeah, that's 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 why it's all right. My point is, is that everybody's mixing everything together these days culinarily. All right. Why can't you put ice in beer? That's what I'm saying. It's but like ice and Modelo. beer isn't a is a culinary maybe, mix. Maybe he puts a little lime in there. Yeah, that's still beer. You're supposed to do that with breaking some beer. the rules, doing things that you normally that people. I think normally you're making wouldn't. a big jump here. Well, <laughs> well, I tried. Is this guy, is this guy paying you on the side this or something? Guy's on his own. <laughs> Told him I'd get him off. Told him a couple of free T-shirts for him too. Um, how do you not get what I'm saying? That's, How do you not? I, under, I that's understand. That's the first what you're step saying. into it. I'm saying if you added another juice or something to but it, but it's not. It's ice. That's what I'm saying. You're you're going if you added more stuff, and we're not saying that. It's ice on beer. That's wildly different than like if you poured grapefruit juice in it. That's now two that would be things. refreshing. Yeah, fine. The Germans do this. It's called a Radler. It's like half beer, half lemonade. Oh my god! On a hot sunny day, does that have ice? No. All right, take it easy. This is great. What? Tough guy, huh? I don't know, I don't know where that's Well, that's going. what I'm talking about. There you go. Yeah, that's... I understand you, but you're talking about another thing. Ice is a thing that normally Ice wouldn't a, go in beer. Yeah, but you're talking about stuff that adds for taste. It's a progressive approach to beer. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Sure. All right. So you, is it classy or trashy? It's trashy. Okay. But kind what? of what? I don't know what we're talking about here. This is he's right. got a couple of rattlers and talking over, huh? He asked if you if you put beer ice in beer is trashy, and you were like the sushi burrito was yeah, outrageous. Like insane. <laughs> you took like the most insane stance. I like the sushi burrito, <laughs> but at least Toby gets where I was going with it. I uh, I just I, wanted to be understood. I also too understand, and you're talking about a completely different subject. I think they're related. And I'm telling I you, think they are a, not. There's a thin connection there. Nothing about you is thin. There was a thin connection no, there. No, 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 no. Majority rules here. T-Bone says you're out. Well, he said it was a Modelo, so I'm going to assume there was a lime in it, which means there is a second thing in no, it. No, Modelo and Corona in lime, that's that's all. You're reaching here, and you're wrong, and you know it. Two bowls of cereal, okay. <laughs> <laughs> My ass. Your mother's ace. Um, all right, let's see here. This one's from your mother's butt. Don't think that's his government name. Uh, FTLT, never had a question read. Ever own a boomerang? <laughs> <laughs> Man, that kid's good. I got to give you that. I, I'm i still going to go. I'm sure there's... <laughs> I'm sure there's video and scientific evidence to prove me wrong, but there is no way those things actually work. I think they do. I they, they could fuck you up too. But do they hit you? What or do they take birds out of the air? What's the main purpose for a boomerang? Is it a weapon or a toy? They kill dinosaurs, I think. <laughs> I don't get it. There's no way it can hit a bird and then come back to you. It's definitely a weapon for sure. It's a weapon? I believe so. It's a weapon. Started out as a weapon. Then became a 70s American recreational activity. Shout out to Dundee. There you, you go. You call that a knife? Great movies. Both of them were great. That was just Crocodile playing Crocodile 1 with Dundee and Crocodile, Crocodile Dundee 2. Let me tell you something. That Paul Hogan, he's a hell of a fucking actor. Dude. Yeah. Was he always an actor? Wasn't he something else, I feel? Maybe. But badass, tough guy. 
I feel like he was, yeah, maybe, I don't know. Was he like a rugby player or something? Maybe. Rock band. Probably did it all. He didn't do much after that, did he? I he was he really the Dundee over there. guy. Yeah, over there, right? Yeah. I think he did his thing over there. He had a movie um, pretty well after. Alligator Dundee. Pretty well well after his prime. It was an independent film. Can't remember what it was. Mm-hmm. But, he was a yeah. cutie. Cutie. Yeah, tan Great. skin, blonde hair. Yeah, Ooh. him and the missus. Lisa Kowalski or something like that. I don't know her. The lady that was in the movie with him. Ah, that's his wife? Fantastic. At the time, or was it an on, on, scene, on set romance? I don't know. What am I, fucking Danny DeVito? I don't fucking know. What's that have to do with anything? He was around around then. <laughs> he was booming. He, he was probably had stuff. the scoop. They probably knew each other. Yeah. They probably did. Sure. Tebow, hey, what Boomerang, what are you doing? Jesus Christ. Hey, bed bugs, let's go. Yeah. No no longer. Fucking Danny Dial-Ups over here. What do you got? <laughs> we just riffed for nine minutes on Ho- Paul Hogan over here. Bed bug free. Uh, it's used for hunting. I was trying to find what they hunt with it. It's got to be birds. You can't be taking down a zebra with a fucking boomerang. Uh, they're pretty heavy, man. I'm telling you, they're pretty heavy and they're pretty nasty. Yeah, there's two types. There's r- the returning boomerang. And then there's the heavy bike that's just a fuck just shit Just a wallop up. something. Yeah. It's like a blackjack. <laughs> it's a blackjack for the sky. <laughs> yeah, dude. You throw it hard, fuck I you get, up. I get that. But how? there's no way you can hit something and then return to you. So there's... But then what's no, the no, return no. one do? Just for fun? No, the just I, for funsies? The idea is that if you miss, it, com- it comes closer back to you so that you can uh, get another shot. Idiot. You'd, You'd never make that. it in a bush, would you? Okay, you're going to pull back from that. <laughs> He's going to make a couple of two-tree jokes there that uh, had, a, <laughs> had to pull an e-brake on. Uh, I've seen one in person. I've, of, of course. I've, I've, I'm sure you have. I've seen one. I've been to a fucking Outback Steakhouse. You now, know let me mean? tell you something. Do you remember when Nerf came out with those, the the, the three, the, had three things on get it? Get there, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Those it, things. It is were... thought that that's... That the shape is helpful for turning boomerangs, makes it useful for hunting birds and small animals. Yeah. Now, is it true, or is this like you know Australian lore? Do they real? Can you? Will they really come back and you can catch them? Like, are they that? They're, so the ones that you hunt with, I don't think are that are that good. But the performance ones, correct? Well, and like you can throw it and fucking catch performance it. Performance. Well, I mean, what the fuck, you know? Put a spoiler on his bad boy, maybe a cool paint job. I, I think they're like boomerang halftime shows and shit like that. Really? What, a rugby match? Or like at a football game? I ain't never seen that at the Packers game. I'll tell you <laughs> that Not at the Bears. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where you do that, my friend, but it ain't over here. I can tell you that. Um, I think they would fuck you up. Oh, I'm sure. But I just, I mean, the effect, the if, I've never, I've only ever seen them. In fucking Crocodile Dundee or what? I've never, you know, never been in a street fight and someone put out a rang on you. I wanted a bow and arrow when I was a kid. Kmart sold a red one. That was like, yeah. you know that red one? Skinny with the skinny had one. Ooh, that thing was lethal. Mm-hmm. Um, a couple buddies had that, wanted that. Just managed to smuggle in a Chinese star at some point. I don't sure. know how I had that. Wanted nunchucks, never got them. I had the fake nun, I had the, the the fake nunchucks. Never got the crossbow. Yeah, I had like the plastic ones with the with the padding on them. They were like, you know, you get it like fucking Party City or whatever. No, oh, yeah, sure. Halloween. Okay, sorry. Yeah. What the fuck. I'm talking about weapons. Okay. I'm arming myself here. Sure. I uh, I really wanted um, the wrist rocket. Never got one of those. We've gone over this. This is where you called me a bad kid. Yeah. I had a wrist racket, I had a blow gun, I had a paintball gun, BB guns, M80s, the whole Blow line. gun's insane. Yeah. That's insane. Pennsylvania, or not the, not the state fair, the flea market at the racetrack on Street Road. <laughs> you go out here, about 15 bucks, you get yourself a blow gun, had a little paintball. Oh, yeah, they got an engagement ring there one year. <laughs> <laughs> that and knives. I was big on knives. We just talked about this, but I was big on knives. Of course. Yeah. Good stuff. All right, let's do one or two more and wrap her up over here. Uh, ba, ba, ba. This is just an, of course, this is from George. Ever held the wheel from, ever held the wheel from a passenger seat while the driver hits a pipe? That was as a child, exclusively fucking. <clears throat> of course, smoke. You know, fucking. 
Yeah, courtesy to the driver. Blunt that, cruises or yeah. whatever, you know. But I remember doing it when I was a kid, and my dad was, like, fucking with his coffee or something like that. Mm-hmm. Or yeah. my mom, take, take the wheel for a second. Yeah, grabbing the wheel. That was always a rite of passage, because that was always... You felt like an adult. You went from you went from turned around, well, we weren't, but most kids, you went from turned around in the back seat to face forward in the in the back seat to the front, to the front seat, then to, hey... Hold the wheel. Were you big on seatbelts as a family? Huge. Really? Yeah, I'm my dad paranoid. was paranoid. Seatbelts all day. Never. Never, never, never. At a certain point in the 80s, no, we didn't know about them. Even in the 90s, we'd be we'd see a cop or they, they did that click it or ticket. My dad would fake put it on. You know, they, like, they would sometimes like be standing at intersections when they did click it or ticket. Pennsylvania did like this initiative to every driver has to be buckled. We Jeez. would just fucking fake it. Like, you yeah. too? Yeah. Man, he's showing you the ropes, huh? <laughs> she knows how to game the system. What do you want? <laughs> now flick your cigarette at him. <laughs> <laughs> Ask him if you've committed a crime. <laughs> <laughs> if the- I've committed no crime, can I please leave? Am I being held for anything? Am I under arrest, sir? <laughs> Dirt bag. Yeah. All right, good stuff. Good stuff. Gang, we love you. Love you. Come out and see a show. Yes. Sign our pretty old Patreon. Uh-huh. Subscribe on the YouTubes there. Yeah. Also, the Clip Channel. We just, uh, we Ooh. got well, the Clip Channel's up and running. That's going to be cranking out. We got new guy Luke cranking out content on ad every week. Sign up for the fucking Clips Channel. Hit the Clips Channel. We got a lot of fun things coming down the line here. We appreciate you. We love you. And we'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.